In today's video, we're going to be comparing two unique and characterful breeds, the Sharpe and the Corso. Welcome back to the Fenrir Sharpe Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Sharpe show. So let's dive into today's video and take a look at the key similarities and differences between these two distinctive breeds. It is believed that the Sharpe originated in Southern China around 200 BC, where it was primarily used for dog fighting and guarding. The Sharpe was a sturdy opponent due to its distinctive folds of skin which acted as a suit of armour. If another dog managed to bite or grab a Sharpe, these wrinkles would absorb any damage and leave their vital organs unharmed. In Chinese, Sharpe translates to sand skin, referring to their characteristic coarse coat which would also discourage any attacking dogs from holding on as this fur would feel prickly and rough in their mouths. The Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, originated in the region we know today as Italy. The breed was originally a war dog in the Roman Empire and they were a jack of all trades. They would help herd the animals that the armies travelled with to feed the soldiers and they were also used in the battles themselves in various ways. After the Roman Empire fell, many of the soldiers brought Corsos home with them, so the breed went from war dog to farm dog and big game hunter. Sharpays are prized for their unconventional appearance. They have loose, wrinkled skin and a short, bristly coat. They can weigh up to 40 pounds and usually stand between 18 and 20 inches tall. They have a variety of different coat colours, including black, cream, red and blue. The Chinese breed standard describes the Sharpay as having clamshell ears, a butterfly nose, grandmotherly face, water buffalo neck and dragon's legs. The Corso is an incredibly muscular breed with a square head and jaw. They are significantly larger than the Sharpay and typically range between 120 and 150 pounds. They have a short double coat that sheds twice a year and comes in a wide range of colours from fawn to black to various brindles and many others. They are the most lean of the Mastiff family and are extraordinarily athletic in all of their movements. Some Corsos will be more of a typical Mastiff appearance with heavier jowls, slower gait and more stocky builds, while other will have a more graceful and refined appearance. Again, this is due to their relatively new status as a registered breed. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviourist I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the perfect puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now. So I can't wait to see you over there. Sharpays are very strong-willed and can be prone to stubbornness, often making them tricky to train. As they were bred to be guard dogs, it's perhaps unsurprising that their modern ancestors have retained a stubborn side to their personality. They need constant leadership and continued training from a young age to ensure that they do not develop behavioural problems. Because of their fighting history, Sharpays can also be aggressive. Whilst friendly towards their family or those they know well, they are generally aloof to strangers and may even show hostility towards them. Although not ideal for households where lots of people tend to come and go, this does make them suitable as a guard dog. They also can often be unfriendly towards other dogs and may bark at other dogs or chase them and therefore need to be kept on a lead in these situations. Early socialisation from puppyhood is vital for this breed to address the potential issues before they become problematic. This makes the Sharpe not well suited to first time owners or those unfamiliar with the breed. The Corso is usually very eager to please and is generally considered fairly intelligent. Corsos are fairly easy to train because of their relatively high energy level as they are quick to act on your command and willing to excel at high levels of obedience or training work. The Corso is very eager to please, but much like the Sharpe, they can be stubborn and willful, especially from years one to four, as throughout their life. As with the Sharpe, this makes them less suitable for first time handlers. Sharpe may not be the kind of lap dog who will lounge on you all day, but that doesn't mean they aren't an affectionate pet. On the contrary, Sharpays are extremely loyal to those they see as family, especially those they have known from a young age. Sharpays love to spend time around their humans and are fiercely protective of those they care about, including young children, which makes them a great choice for a family dog. Although not the most energetic of animals, Sharpays will still be extremely happy to participate in family activities. Sharpays are also intelligent animals who are usually eager to please their owners. 
Cane Corsos also make wonderful family dogs. They're extremely affectionate and are happiest when they can be near or physically touching you, with the rest of their family close by as well. They are prone to separation anxiety because they do bond so closely with the person who primarily feeds and trains them as they don't always do well by themselves. In most cases, as long as you're seen as their calm, consistent leader, both breeds will look to you for guidance in any situation. To summarise, both the Sharpe and Corso are affectionate, loyal family guardians. However, it is vital to remember that they are both need consistent leadership, training and socialisation in order to grow into well-rounded adult dogs. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Sharpe videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Sharpe Show.